Hi guys, my name is Harry. As you know, Heroku is one of the most popular free cloud platforms for hosting web applications. But belonging an app to Heroku never been that easy. A couple of months ago, I made a video about the common mistake a beginner often makes when deploying an app to Heroku. However, it doesn't cover all the mistakes you may have. That's where this video comes in. I will try to cover as much as possible about handling Heroku errors. So in this video, you will know the common mistake when deploying an application with Heroku and how to solve them. Let's get started now. The most popular error a beginner may encounter is making the Heroku command to work on your computer. In order to use the Heroku command, you must install the Heroku CLI. Without Heroku CLI, for example, when you use the command Heroku login, I'm sure that definitely you will have this error message. The term Heroku is not recognized as a function or script file. It is a wrong path. To fix this error, just simply download and install the Heroku CLI on your computer. Go into a Heroku document and download one that's suitable for your OS. Remember the Heroku CLI require Git, so make sure that you install Git first. Right here, I download the Heroku CLI for my Windows computer. After finishing download the Heroku CLI, it's super easy to install the CLI. All you need to do is click Next and Next. Finally, accept the install the CLI. To see if you successfully install the Heroku CLI, we will try again with the command Heroku login. If I press enter, a browser will show up to confirm the Heroku account. The first time we use this CLI, we need to log in. So click on the login button. If we succeed to log in, this button will be changed to logged in, and your Heroku username will be shown at the terminal. After we install the Heroku CLI, Let's talk about the way we used to deploy an app to Heroku. For me, I like to use the Heroku website than using the terminal, so I'm going to the Heroku.com. Because I already logged in to this website, so I'll be directed to the Heroku dashboard where we manage all the Heroku apps we created so far. To create a new app, at the top right, click on this button, then select Create New App. Pick a name for your app. The invalid name will be shown with the red text right below. So choose one until you see the green text. I keep the default region US and hit the create app button. If you succeed to create a Heroku app, you will see this page, the deploy section. Heroku shows a step by step to get started with Heroku. We will use Git, so ensure that you already install Git. Copy this command right below the git init. Go back to our terminal. First, we use the git init command to create a new git repository. Then, do all files in our project with the git add, a space, and a dot. Git commit your message. You see the message on branch master. Everything is up to date because I use git to manage this project. The brand master doesn't make any sense when we deploy an app to Heroku, so just ignore it. Next, I paste the command we copied before to set the git remote to Heroku. Finally, use the command git push Heroku master to deploy our app. If everything is okay, just wait a few minutes for this process to complete. But then, you may have this issue. Heroku denies building your app. For me, the reason is that some packages in my project are not installed. So how to fix this error? First, we need to check our packages to see if any of them are updated with the command npm outdated. As you can see here, I have two packages need to update. The dialog flow and UUID. To update a specific package to the newest version, use this command npm install dash dash save the package name at latest. 
The reason I use the command because I want to update the package store JSON as well. If I only use the command npm update, all packages are updated, but this command doesn't make any changes to package store JSON. After that, commit our changes, then deploy our app to Heroku again. This time, we successfully build our app with Heroku. But life has never been that easy. We succeed to deploy our app to Heroku. Then when opening our app, these ugly messages appear, application error. To figure out what happened with our app, copy this command, Heroku logs tail, go into terminal and run the command. We will see all the Heroku logs in real time. As you can see here, my app state changed from start to crash and the reason is some packages are not installed. If you're in the Node.js environment without using the command to build your project, Heroku won't install developer dependency. In my case, it's the Nomad package. With the demo purpose, I will change the Heroku environment from production to development with this command. Then, to make it detect changes, I add a new line in this file, save changes and deploy our app again, git add, git commit, then git push Heroku master. This time, because we set up the Heroku environment for development, Heroku will install our packages in the dev dependencies. Depending on your error message, you will have another way to fix your problem. In my experience, the first common mistake you may have is missing the profile. So create one at the root directory. The profile lets Heroku know how to run your app. Inside this file, if you deploy a web app, it will start with the syntax stack web node and the path to the entry point. Remember, we don't have space between two words, web and node. So the second line is incorrect. Next, ensure that you already set up all environment variables with Heroku, such as port and database URL. Going back to Heroku dashboard, click on the settings sections, then review config variable. You need to define all your app environment in this session. As you can see here, to change the Heroku environment from production to development, we use this variable, and if I use is false, to define a new variable, write the name to this input and its value besides. Finally, hit the add button. In a real app, I'm sure that you will do this step many times. If none of these steps I have been shown you solve your problem, the last thing you can do is checking the Heroku error code. Heroku has a document showing all the error codes you may encounter and provide a nice solution for your problem. If you're still stuck with Heroku errors, please let me know by comment below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get the newest video. Have a good day and see you in the next video.